In this session, we're going to take a look at how we do some of these logo upsells. Really easy to set up these effects on these designs. For instance, this Miller shirt and some of these other shirts that we see here where we just take and add some effects to these very quickly and we get very different looking designs and then doing these upsells very easy to get clients to spend a couple extra bucks a shirt when you're showing them shirts with effects like these on them. Very simple to do. Just simple vector stuff and we just add the effects and then the designs really come together. So you see here with the Mountain Dew we've got a really cool effect going on there and that's just the same halftone brush we just worked with. Set up with a yellow and then yet another green behind that create a really off the, look, off the wall look with the design. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the Miller, and what I want to do is, we've got some different, a lot of different brushes in this 400 brush pack, but we'll go ahead and work with some of the, the paint brushes here. I'll go ahead and ungroup here, and I'll grab this and bring this over here, and all I want to do is take this Miller design and just kind of upsell it, add some effect to it. Well, how do I do that? Well, it's pretty simple to do. Once I get my shirt set up on a comp here, I'll go ahead and just start moving this over here, and select copy here, and we'll go ahead and hold down Alt, we'll go down to the back here and change this shirt to a red color there. Left click here, right click over here, you can't see it on a darker red, change that to a red. Now in this particular case, my effect is going to be coming off of a brush that we call Destroyed Watercolor. Really cool set of brushes we've got here. So I'm going to go into Destroyed Watercolor. I get my brush here and just create a stroke here. Now that's going to be much bigger than what I need. I want to bring this down to like 0.5 or 0.15 or something like that. And now that I'm in destroyed watercolor, go ahead and select this brush and we'll take a look at some different strokes here. Different watercolor brush strokes that we've got set up for the graphic design here. Different looks and these are all set up in Corel and you can add colors to them and change the colors on them and they'll still maintain their watercolor look. Actually I like this brush here and I'm going to change the size of this to let me see, 0 0.5, I'll bring it to 0 0.5, 0 0.45, 0 0.40. And all I'll do is go ahead and just start doing some different effects here with this brush right around this Miller logo. And I'm going to just go ahead and grab this and combine that. We'll change that to a white for now. And I'll go ahead and get my brush here. And I'm just going to start playing off of what's going on with that brush. Now, see, I went the wrong direction there. I want to go in another direction. So I'm going to come in this way and just start splashing the art into the design, something like what you can see there. Now, the way this is all set up, now I can just go ahead and grab this, and I'll fill this with a white, bring it down in size, and then I can rotate it, position it, what have you. Now this being set up this way, what I want to do is just a kind of splashy design. So I'll go ahead and left click and drag this out this way and then I'll just go ahead and change this. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here, just very simply copy here and then I'll just go ahead and mirror this, bring it back in over the other, I want to move there, bring it back in, kind of mix it into the other brushes. As you can see there, now I'll just take my Miller High Life, right click on that, order to front of page. Go ahead and give that a text outline. Uh, not a text outline, but an outline. Make sure I've got that selected. And we'll give that an outline, let's say 0.4 millimeters behind fill. That's a little bit too much. We're going on 0.2. And we'll scale with image. And we'll go to advanced. And we'll round our corners and end caps. We can fill that with a red. Give it a white outline, one color print, but really off the wall effect and look that we put together very quickly with that whole watercolor splash going on there. As you can see, working with these brushes, very easy to set these designs up very quickly, very easily, and get the kinds of looks going on that your clients are going to like this one set up differently. You change the angle there. And once we've got this set up, we can easily go through and make adjustments to it and tweak it and things like that. Like I can just lasso everything, hold down shift click the Miller logo so I don't have that selected. I've got everything selected here. I'll go ahead and group that. Now from there I can go to things like effects and add perspective and start to really tweak and mess with this design and what's going on with it. Changing what the looks going to be like for the final design. And by working with that perspective I'm able to change that very radically. I can bring that down, make it very small and still keep my brushes going there and still change my colors. Let's see when this look at these a yellow or a blue or a black or an orange. 
etc. on the red shirt. Now going with the yellow is going to give you a lot of splash and a lot of pop. Now if I want to, after that I can actually do something like go down here into my envelope tool and start to really distort what's going on with this graphic and give it an entirely different look, but yet still get the type of feeling that we're wanting to see with these effects and the way these effects work. Bring this down here over that way and you can see that we can do a lot of experimentation design tweaking and different things with these brushes I don't really like the direction that went so I'll go ahead and hit control Z and we'll go back and that's where we were before with some of the um, add perspective so that's a different effect there and as you can see you just go through all these different brushes adding these effects there's some of that same brush water destroyed watercolor brush going on there with the cores effect and I want to take a look at, let me see, I'll take a look at a couple of different logos here. Go ahead and grab KFC here. And we'll, actually, I'll go with Coors Light. We'll just go ahead and follow the same path here. I'm going to change this, hit Control Z. I want to keep that comp in place. We'll go into the background here. Change this to, let's say, a blue. And I'll change my shirt shading to a dark blue come back in down here, same brush, very easy, set up set up some really cool effects just in a flash. We'll grab a brush and take it that way. That's going the wrong way here. Just grab a brush and go that way with it. There's some white. There's some more white there. We'll change that to a white. Do the same thing down here on the bottom. Very easy to work with. And we'll just create a kind of brush effect going off here. Off the bottom of the shirt here. We'll select this one and change that to a white also. Then we'll just go ahead and hold down shift. We'll select all of these. Right click and select order and go in front of. Click on our shirt and there you can see a really cool off the wall, off the wall splashy type effect built on the front of the shirt. Same thing with the Mountain Dew here. I want to take a look at that. Amazing how fast you can just set these effects up and we'll go ahead and copy this. I'm going to move this over here, copy here. And I'm working with a pen as opposed to a mouse, so it's a little different. I'm working in reverse here. But got this Mountain Dew here. We're actually going to go ahead and hold down Alt. We'll go back one. We'll change that to a green. This shading of the shirt will change to a darker green. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to a different brush this time. I want to go into my Edge Direct Shape Particles. I'm just going to create a brush that's going to flow from the top to the bottom here and then since this is going that way we'll go this way with the other one here and control Z went the wrong way there I want to go this way yeah that's the way we want to go and I'm just going to go around this in a circle here fill that with a yellow come down here fill that with a yellow and you can see we can work with that and create an effect with that but I'm not going to go with that for now I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to my, let me see here, abstract shake particles and come down here and grab one of those. Get some different looks going on with our Mountain Dew here. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I think I want a bigger brush here. Something like that there. And I'll go ahead and delete that. And I've got that selected now, so I'll go ahead and create that look there. And I'll go ahead and delete this. This I can bring up and just rotate it here along with my Mountain Dew logo so it kind of goes with the shape there. Fill that with the yellow. Take the outline off of it. Right click and order. Go in front of and select my shirt. A little bit of an effect going on there. Same thing here. We'll just play off of that whole same scenario. Fill that with the yellow. Take the outline off of it. I want to double click on that and change the length of it just a little bit. And I want to get rid of that node there too. And right click, order, in front of, click on my shirt. Now different look there. Now if I'm not happy with that, I can go into and get some different looks or different brushes. I kind of like that, but not really too much. So actually I'm going to go to a different set of brushes. Start experimenting with something else. I'll go to Warped Abstract here come down in here and warped abstract. Now I'm getting a really insane look there with that particular brush. Do the same thing here. 
warped abstract and now that's really off the wall go ahead and click on this double click and we'll bring this off to one side here and we'll go ahead and tweak that that way and I'll go ahead down here double click here and we'll bring this off this way down across the bottom I think I might want to actually bring this down just a bit and then arch it back up over what's going on with my graphic kind of like what you see there building off the shape of the logo with the brush again and we'll do some of the same down here at the bottom bring this up this way I'll grab this control arm and pull that way now with this set up like this I'm going to bring this up in here just a bit bring that up in there just a bit I can take these two hold down shift copy and paste change these to say a black right click order in front of click on my shirt move my arrow key around a little bit you can go with a black you can see what a white's going to look like we've got yellow there we can see what a red's going to look like as you can see there or we could work with some of the mountain dew green or go with a darker green there kind of looks what's going on there and then take our shirt hold down alt and let's see what a yellow shirt's going to look like with that design looks pretty wild so you can see working with these brushes we could do logo tweaks and add really cool very fast effects really easily to our design and create a lot of upselling comps I mean any client they've got just a one color logo and you walk in with a colored t-shirt set up on a comp like this with the colors and stuff obviously nine times out of ten they're going to gravitate to the colors and we'll be able to do your upsell with the graphics and of course I could come back in with the fashion factory and do some really off the wall stuff also so this is how we just do some simple effects to dress up logos for our t-shirt designs using brushes and our brush pack in CorelDRAW.